Luna's got a price tag stuck to her fur and she won't let me take it off. So now she's just a little 199 baby. <laughs> We're currently watching the turkeys in my backyard on this beautiful leap day in February. What a perfect day to start the antique room makeover to the basement. fourth bedroom in this house. It's in the basement. I've probably only showed this room in my empty house tour like three years ago, but today we are turning this into a showroom. Originally, this was going to be the guest bedroom. You know, you have your own level. There's a bathroom down here, a little basement living room, and even an entryway down here. So I figured it would be perfect to have like married guests stay down here or just like friends. The reality of this though is I've lived here for almost three years now and I've never had the problem or the need to host somebody down here. If a friend sleeps over, they're sleeping in my room. They're sleeping in the sunroom. They're sleeping in the office. I've got a twin size mattress in the sunroom. I've got a pullout couch in the office. I've got a queen size bed in my room. Like I've never felt the need to need to host somebody down here. So instead of spending money buying another bed, another like room set up, and who knows, maybe someday the need for that will arrive. And maybe by then my antique store, Luna. My antique shop will have its own physical store and this will become a necessary guest room, but for right now, it is just a perfect, empty, not being used room that I think would be the perfect storage and showroom for my shop's inventory. As you can clearly see, I have been storing random extra home decor, outdoor summer patio stuff is in here, just like a ton of random storage. I already have a vision for how I want this to look, so I'm really excited to kind of make a at-home antique showroom space to be able to store all of my inventory properly. So let me show you what we're working with and start the process. I really don't show my basement that much, but this is the spare bedroom though. It's a little dark in here because there isn't a light. So I'm really hoping to find like a cheap thrifted floor lamp. This is what we're working with. It's just random storage. That's my outdoor balcony rug that I use in the summer. That coffee table goes out on my balcony in the summer. Those cushions go outside. This is a storage bin of stuff from college, an extra rug, like random decor. As you can see, I think this room is like the perfect size, so much potential, and it doesn't get direct sunlight, which is actually really great for this purpose because I don't want any sunlight to fade the products. You know, I want to keep them in the best condition possible and anything in direct sunlight will fade over time. So I just didn't want sun to be on my inventory. So this is actually the perfect room for it. And I can shut the door and the cats won't get into it. That's another thing I have to be aware of is that kitties want to be part of it. Like this antique table I found, look at that. It's just, it belongs to the cats now. <laughs> Um, okay, Luna, but this is what I'm working with. I have a ton of inventory that I want to put in here I think I'm going to bring this bookcase in there as well as this antique end table and those items and just make a really cute Almost like an antique booth, but just a place to display all of my products. It's already 3 p.m And with this one window, I'm not going to get a lot of natural light in here for long Especially since I don't even have a lamp yet to bring down here So I'm gonna have to move pretty quickly, but first things first Let's empty out this room, vacuum, and then bring in bring in what I want to bring into it. I guess the makeover officially is about to begin. Here goes nothing. <laughs>
to remember the vlog from I think last fall when I found that beautiful antique mid-century end table for I think it was like eight dollars but she's absolutely stunning so beautiful dark tinted glass look at the wood carvings i looked up her value and she goes for a lot more than like the eight bucks that i got her for so i don't know if i will ever ever consider selling her if i ever have like a physical shop but for now she's gonna help me store some items that will be for sale that's what i realized too is that like my love and passion for finding antiques and items that are such treasures date way further back than me deciding to open this shop like i've been doing this for years and i think that's why I feel like I'm so passionate and good at it because of that. That feeling when you are hunting and you find a treasure, especially one that is so undervalued at its price for like what it's worth, nothing compares to that feeling. This is the first piece of furniture in my showroom as she deserves but I think I'm gonna put her there. I don't know, she's kind of big. I'd like to put her there, but I just don't know if she's gonna fit. And then I might put a Billy bookshelf over there to help display items. I don't know, we're working on it. But it's so fun, isn't it, Marnie? Yeah! Update, I got everything kind of where I think I want it to be. I don't know where to put this, honestly. I couldn't decide if I wanted it here there or over here because it's hard to see right here and there is a streak of sunlight every single day so i don't want the wood to fade so that's why i pushed it back here for now the bookshelf is gonna go there but i do need to stop at a hardware store and get some brackets to put behind it just to secure it to the wall especially if i'm going to put like dishware wine glasses martini glasses and all of those really nice glassware that's kind of what i'm imagining on those shelves i want to make sure that they are secure and they will not fall over but for the big furniture, I think it is in. So I'm genuinely surprised how much natural light this room gets. Like it's very bright in here, brighter than the rest of my basement, which is a disaster right now. I might put this rug down. This is from, again, my apartment days. I wanna put it in my sunroom eventually, but I might put the rug down here if I feel like it needs something. Can't decide if I should start putting some items in here or if I should go to the hardware store and get the brackets or if I should start hanging stuff on the wall because I do have some shelves and things that I want to put up. I'm just thinking like daylight, you know, like I don't have lights down here, so I should probably stick down. I don't know. I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now, but gotta do something. video it's been a couple of weeks the showroom is set up for the most part I just did a huge haul of items that I found like I'm so blue once I get down to the basement but like I'm still blue but like a lot of new items that I'm about to write down, put into inventory and then put into the showroom. But I don't wanna show it in this video because those items are going to be shown in a different vlog. And then also they're just not going to be out yet for a while. So I didn't wanna like give it all away, but I need to show you the final reveal. I'm not gonna make this a big thing. I'm just gonna show you it because yeah. Oh, you're already seeing part of it. I'm really happy with it and I cannot wait to get more items down here. It's just like the best safe space to keep everything. So let me show you my antique showroom. It's definitely a gloomy rainy day today, so it's not the best lighting in here, but I have a little pile of wrapping like newspaper and bubble wrap and boxes because it's easier to carry things down in. I'm going to put all of the picture frames that I get, anything that hangs on the wall, just all over this wall, make like a huge gallery wall of items. All of these items will be listed except for that little mirror. There are a few things in here 
that are just part of like my own private collection. Like for example, this was my grandmother's mirror. This was in my bedroom growing up. So this is mine, but I have it down here. Some of these like pewter items, chair, mirror. Some of the stuff is just like my grandma's. This is the perfect thing to display some of the pins, jewelry, smaller items in. But yeah, did I even give you like an overview? This is the showroom so far. I found this mid-century modern side table. I'm obsessed with it. It really matches this as well. If I ever have like a physical showroom, I'll definitely list that. I'm just not shipping it, so it has to be local. I also recently found this lamp with a clock, hurricane lamp, so cool. See, a lot of this stuff is just mine. Like all of the items down here are mine. This was my grandmother's, so I'm not selling it. I am listing this little heart-shaped tray. I'm putting all of the glassware and stuff on these Billy cases. This lamp, I'm so glad I found her. I found her for $6 at Empty the Nest. There was another one there for $6 and I kind of regret not getting both of them, but I only needed one at the time. Maybe I'll sell her someday if I have like a store, but she also has three settings. Watch, one, two, three. Now I have some light down here. I've got some more items over here as well. The showroom right now looks pretty empty and that's because only two of the next launches, Luna, don't climb that. But yeah, and that's because only two of the next launches are in here. The first launch is up in my office because those are items that I'm shipping currently. And then I have bags and boxes in my living room of items that need to be taken inventory of before being put in here. But I'm really glad that it looks empty because that means I have so much space to put in more things. I don't know if I showed this, but this is a ceramic Santa Barbara hand-painted wall clock from 1989. I also have this little cherub. Just like the next two small collections are here. Yeah. So, so, so cute. I'm glad I have the space. The showroom looks pretty empty and that's because everything else is basically on my living room floor. I'll show you. I just did a huge haul of everything I found, but oh my gosh. Okay, sneak peek. Look at this. Look, <laughs> look at that. I have my notebook right in the center, so I'm gonna get organized. There is so much, but really fun glassware sets coming out, more pictures a lot of kitchen trays and little trinket bowls, and a lot of clothing as well. I went to the Minneapolis Vintage Market and that was primarily vintage clothing. It really inspired me, so now I want to include vintage clothing, so I started looking for some. I found a couple of really cool items that you'll see in a couple of months. Thank you for watching this makeover video, sort of makeover video, turning my basement bedroom into an antique room video. <laughs> I'm glad I have designated space now for my shop. It gives me kind of like a room for it and one step closer to having my own booth or retail space. It's all very exciting. I love every single step. I'm gonna go through all of this now, organize and bring all the items down to the showroom and then it's really gonna look full. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.